At the core of every Makoto Shinkai movie is an appreciation for two different Japans, the ultra-modern country of the future and the deeply spiritual country of the past. Suzume, especially in its final moments, perfectly represents both ideas. It's a film about a character and a country in transition. Suzume the character is transitioning into adulthood, and she has found an exciting new purpose, helping Soda. But her trauma and the loss of her mother shadow over her, and they strain her relationship with her aunt. Suzume the movie centers around a calamity that feeds off of forgotten places. It can only be defeated by listening to the memories of the past. Suzume can only save Japan by accepting her own past, and by accepting the loss of her mother. In doing so, she literally takes her mother's place as the protector for her younger self. That's how Suzume unlocks her own potential and moves forward towards a better future. And that's a perfect ending for a Makoto Shinkai movie because...